Well, back in Kamloops. Oh yeah, late fall on one of our favorite lakes. Yeah, and we're gonna see what happens today. You've got some, <laughs> I saw your box of wild stuff in there. <laughs> there was, I saw some blobs that were kind of a wormy, squirmy, wormy, blobby mutant. <laughs> we got the anaconda fly, which yep. is a big white rabbit strip thing that we've yep. been trying. Yeah. It'll be a very unusual day. I mean, yeah, I know, it's nice weather, not too windy. It's a perfect late fall day, can't ask for more. Yeah, the fish are in good shape in this lake. We can oh. catch some big, fat, chunky fish. The best they've ever been. We're hoping for good things today. So that's today when we take you sport fishing on the field. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Do I need my sunglasses? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just shine that over the water and get those fish going. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. On the... Finally starting to see a few move. Hey, what do you got on? The anaconda. <laughs> What's really neat is they take this off the surface. Right, they take it just like a dry fly. It's just a big white rabbit strip and it hits the water and then they just come up and boil on it. You know, I've had a few like that this morning. Maybe we can get this guy in. Trouble is it's a long strip fly. So difficult too to get him hooked up right a lot of yeah. times on the tail. Felt like the last one I had on, but he shook it off. But when they hit it like a dry too, you don't get the. There he is. Look there at the fatty. <laughs> That's okay. a good one. Yeah. Well, we'll look at the little. Yeah, look at the thickness of that. That's a nice fish, eh? There he is. There you go. Yeah, he's got some thickness, eh? <laughs> Good job, there Dale. Goes. Okay, good. One in. <laughs> Anaconda. Yeah, well, I've had a few of them taken. They take it just right off the surface. It hits, and then they just come up and boop, boop. Well, you know, they've been, they love chasing indicators here, so yeah. it makes sense. I, you know, I've never seen a lake where their fish are so aggressive to take, a, take an indicator when it hits the water. Or if you're stripping in and they, you think they're going to grab the fly, <laughs> they hit your indicator. <laughs> they hit the indicator. Yeah, these ones, I don't know, big white rabbit strip yeah. is all it is. And they're looking up. Ooh. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Whoa. Hey, it's a good one. Just cast again, like Dale was saying. He was just hooked that one right in the shallow. We've had to move into five feet of water. The fish are moving in five feet. Nothing out any deeper, but these guys are being really shallow. So it's funny. As soon as that blob hit, you know, I'll show you the little blob. I saw the boil and then I stripped once and then he ate it. So they're getting attracted by actually the flick and the fly hitting the water and then they then they whack it. And this one's a nice one too. All you know, beautiful, healthy fish this year. Hey Brian, they're healthy. Healthy fish. Oh yeah, no, they're they're prime prime condition. Oh yeah. Just 
And Silver look, bars. Yeah, look look at the blob right on the right on the top lip. Like right on the right on the top lip. Oh. Oh. There he is there. Oh done. Okay. Well All right, who's maybe, taking their gloves yeah, off? Yeah. I'll oh, take mine off. Oh I'll yeah. Let go. What a guy, Brian. All right. Oh. <laughs> what a what a buddy, what a pal. Oh, this one, this oh. one's a little bigger. Oh, oh, jumping in there. That was right off the surface on the anaconda too, eh? Just, I've gone to a uh, clear intermediate because I can, oh no. Oh, swing of my way, yep. Oh no. There's a rope. Oh, and he's a big one too. He's going to, I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, mine fell off. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty big. Oh. 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 I'm trying to keep him out. Oh, there he is. Oh. oh. <laughs> what a beautiful what male. A Beautiful got shape, a eh? Kite got a kite up. on him, and, and to see him suck it down like right. that, just boop. I'll get the fly over. Okay. <sighs> that oh. is a pretty. Isn't that nice? Oh. Late October rainbow, anywhere. <laughs> Isn't that a gorgeous yeah. fish? Thanks for getting your hands wet for oh. me, Brian. I know, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> what a gorgeous fish. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Dale. And you know, like, just, so right in, taking it, that thing, right? Right off the surface. Yeah. And it's, and we're fishing in only, what are we fishing in? We're in five, four and a half feet of water. Four and a half feet, and they're taking it right off the surface there. Look at that thing. Crazy. Just blur, just, just undulates they, and they, they can't stand it. That's the one good thing about late fall fishing is that they get aggressive. Yeah. And they're aggressive chasing that thing, hits the water, boosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Another wild take. <laughs> right, right off of that calm water, just like a dry fly. Oh, he's a, he's, He's packing some pounds, I think, Brian. Yeah. The way he swirled on that, looked like I could see his fins. Looked like a nice fish. He's displacing some water. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh sheesh. Look at the size of him. Oh. You just have to hope he's, he's hooked up. Oh. He looks like the last one, doesn't he? Another fat chunk. They're deceptive because they're they're not long, but they're so fat. Yeah. And yeah, then in this calm this calm water taking it right off the surface like that. Yeah, he's not as big as I thought. He's just oh. a chunk. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now he's mad. He's mad now. We tried for the quick, uh, quick in the net. There he is. Oh. Another <laughs> beauty. Another beauty and another, another surface eat, eh? Oh yeah. Get him off the... Oh, he's, he's lassoed himself, I think. Get this out, but yeah, he's all. There he is. With his spin. There you go. Yeah, another, they're just, they're so chunky. There you go. Nice chunk, eh? Beauty. Yeah, just to see him eat like that right off the, <laughs> right off the top. Up there. Look at his little fins sticking out. 
You can see the fin sticking up. They definitely run around the top, eh? Oh, <laughs> the one jumps right by. Been in the weed already. I'm trying to keep them out of there. They're strong. They're so fat. Oh yeah, they're just strong fish. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, it is. It is fishing, crazy. right? It Every is. day's a new adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at uh, this one. Another nice little uh, fatty, eh? Beautiful condition and wow. He's really chrome, this one. What a gorgeous fish. Oh, Ryan's going in again. They always seem to get it in the corner, eh? Corner of the mouth, they seem to take it. Uh, Beauty. Oh. <laughs> Nice fish, Dale. Yeah. Beautiful doe. All right, so Barbara isn't working right now. I, I put my hand up. So I put on my clear camel line. I beefed up to eight and a half pound though. <laughs> and we got the anaconda. <laughs> Dale has turned us to the other side. No indicator. <laughs> I turned you over. And I can't believe me. how hard the take. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Is casting poppers to cohos up at, yeah. you know, Hanina or somewhere around the west coast in the ocean. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it is cool. Nice fat fish too, eh? Oh. He's a beauty. Look at, look at those colors on him. Oh, oh I got him. There you are, mm. Brian. Oh, nice one, Brian. Another beautiful colored fish. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Fall that. colors. Boy, we're getting lots of clones, eh? Oh, yeah. That's almost clonable. That same. Oh. Well, Dale, he slammed it. That looks like a good one, Brian. Whoa. Oh. Some We're at four, just over four feet of water. Well, wow. not even yeah. that, maybe. Yeah, they like that, eh? Whether you're set up, you've got oh. that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You got a clear intermediate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just the what he got the uh, tip it Clear on camo. Yeah. Clear camo. Oh. oh. And they're strong. <laughs> they're strong and yeah. prime sheep. Prime uh, sheep. Well, I asked this guy why he's not taking blobs though. <laughs> <laughs> he's disappointing you. Yeah. Can't see your indicator go down. But you gotta admit, you gotta like the slam. Gotta get that indicator, but this is the take on this is pretty uh pretty awesome pretty isn't it? awesome it's yeah it's pretty aggressive they just smash it oh oh he's a he's a fat guy oh he's yeah he looks like a little coho <laughs> oh oh man see and he's they put their him. heads down they're hard to oh, oh. <laughs> how to do the oh wait Wait till you see the girth on this one. I don't know how Brian's going to fold it up. It's oh. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. This is like a Chernobyl fish. That's a, that's a football. That's a football. Okay. That fish is so fat. Okay, you're going to open it up. Wait till you see how fat this baby is. That guy's been chowing. I don't know how you're gonna get him, Brian. It's just... What a chunk! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> look, look at the thickness! <laughs> <laughs> look at that thing! I don't you know think he's that. been eating good? Oh, he's like 20 inches, maybe. Oh, right! Look at the girth on him. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> We're all. 
we're all on the anaconda now. But I'm lazy. I kept my dry line on. <laughs> so what I did, Brian and uh, Dale went with the clear to media. But I thought, oh, no. Oh, oh. I lost them. But they're hitting. Here's my setup. I just went dry line. I got lazy. I had my indicator set up on. I kept the swivel on. And I just put the anaconda on. <laughs> so really, we're only fishing four feet of water. The fish are looking up. So really, with a dry line, a long leader, and a swivel, it gets it down like a foot. I let it sit once in a while. That one I just pulled a little bit off the bottom, and that fish hit. Bam, another nice one. I'm not hanging on to him, but you know what? <laughs> it's so much fun, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just good. Ooh, she's a little bent out. Oh, that's a good one. Give me a chance to enjoy my nice, oh, dear pepperoni, Brian Brother. I don't know. I don't see an indicator out there. No indicator. I knew. I would have these guys switched over. Oh, nice fish. It's a nice one. Rabbit strip fly. You eat I it on it. the surface. Yeah, right on top. Yeah. This wiggles. You should tie one on the bench, I think. Rabbit stripper. Right? That's what they're liking. We're using white today, but we've used green and different colors and Another fatty. Boy, that's good pepperoni. God, look at the dimensions. The dimensions of the fish are incredible. They are fat. Oh, they're strong. They're strong. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Get back here. Oh. I wasn't trying to lose him, Bry. No, he's <laughs> he's in the corner. I can see that. Wow! Oh, I can't believe yeah, you these can't, guys. You can't hold him up like he's just. There he comes. This time. Look at that! He just muscles with his head. Okay, now he's gonna come. Wow. Oh, that's a toad. Another fat hunk of meat. Okay, I got right? net. Oh, what a fatty. <laughs> yeah, rabbit strip flies. There right? it is. Yeah. Rabbit strippers. That's the thing to use. Look at this. Oh. Beauty. Oh. <laughs> hey. Quality. Nice. Late fall fish. Ooh. I think I'm going to have half the bottom with you this got, baby. Oh, there he is. He came out. But you got a lot of weed. I guess we could expect that we're in four feet of water. <laughs> we're down the weed. I don't know where this guy's going to come in. He's going to be one giant ball of weed when we get him in here. I see him there, but... Look at I got to drag him through the... Oh! I got I to drag him through the nest. Nice fish, though. Nice fish. If I can get him out of there. Oh, we'll, get, we'll take the weeds and everything with them. <laughs> we'll take everything. Oh, oh no, he's still there. I thought it was just a clump of weed. <laughs> there, there, there's something white in his mouth, Dale. <laughs> something white in amongst all the freaking weed. We're gonna flip him over to the other side. Okay. Oh yeah. Another nice fish, Brian. He came in with the clump of weed, but. There he is. Get him. Nice, healthy. Because they're so. Look at them. They're so fat, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up the anaconda. 
And if you're sight fishing for big rainbows on lots of marl bottom lakes, then this is definitely one you'll want to have in your box. Before tying the fly, make sure you have these materials ready. We use 6 aught red thread, some synthetic rabbit strips, some UV crystal flash and pearl, 6 mil booby tubes, and a size 6 hook. All right, so once you have the hook firmly secured in the vise, just build up a nice long base of red thread. I don't quite go all the way back to the bend with this one, but I go pretty close, just over the hook point. And taking the six mil booby tubes. Each tube is good for two flies, so you can cut it in half. Save that one for later. And cinch in the eyes. And before continuing on, I like to secure the eyes really strong, so I whip finish behind the eyes. I find with the rotary vise it's easier just to turn it upside down. You can really see, you can get really close to those eyes and give a nice whip finish off. Some people like to use a bit of glue to secure them even better. I'll use a little bit of UV glue. Make sure they don't spin anywhere. Then, sometimes I'll uh, wait till the end, but often it's e easy enough to trim off the corners of the, the booby tube before going on, and it just gives you less to hang that thread on. You don't need to get really precise with this, you just need to knock the corners off so it looks a little more round. They can't get a really good look at it, and hopefully the teeth will chew off the rest pretty soon. And work the thread back. And just grabbing three or four, five strands, anything in there, crystal flash, and cinch one side in, bring it forward so it stays straight, circle the other side over, and tie it down the other side. You can leave these a little longer until you get the rest of the fly body tied up too. And keeping the fly thread at the rear, we take some synthetic rabbit. And I like to conserve my materials, so these ones don't have a true hair involved, actually. They actually look the same way forwards or backwards, unlike a real hat rabbit hide, which is quite nice. So I just drape it over the back of the vise, leave it just enough so it's just at the front of the booby tube, pull it back to right over top of where you've got your thread at the bend, and just cinch that in. And lifting the rabbit up, come underneath it, bring it really forward right up underneath the eyes. Lay this down, pull a bit of that fiber back as well, trim it in there. Cut, if there's a little bit of excess of the cord in there, I like to just ch trim that back so there's no more than about an eighth of an inch in there. And that just lays down like a little bit of an extra body spot at the top of the front of the hook. Since that in a few times, I like to cut this one to be no somewhere between an inch and a half, inch and three quarter inches long. 
I like to reverse it again to finish off with the whip finish. So you can get a really good look at what's going on in there. And two or three times should be just fine. That's yeah, a nice, simple, effective fly. Looks like a little white snake in the water. We've uh, developed a lot of patterns over the last year with um, COVID-19 causing everybody to be social uh, distance and, um, and uh, a lot of isolation time. So a bunch of weird stuff got developed over the vice and this is definitely a winner. It was, um, it's named after my fiance, Anna, and um, like her, she's a real keeper. So that's a really nice fly and uh, definitely one to have if you're ever going sight fishing. Just, <laughs> I just plopped it out again. Brian said, well, you caught that one, we should probably move. I took another cast and right on, Brian's got one on. Double header. Oh, nice fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. We got a couple of dandies. They look like clones, Brian. Two beauties. <laughs> I think we found some I fish. I think we found some fish. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Crazy. I, oh, geez, this one. Yeah, I think they're both of them. Oh, man. Oh, these are nice fish. Holy cow. On the dueling bobs, Brian. We've yeah. got uh, bobs. Holy cow. Nice silver try fish. try to get my guy in here. Oh, gee. No, oh, he's nice. Wow. These are both quality fish. Oh, man. I thought mine was small at first. Look at that thing. Whoa. Uh oh. Man. Yours is about the same, eh, Brian? We've got two dandies. All right. I'll get mine in. Okay. Oh. Oh, gone. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> look at how fat those fish are! Wow! How's that for a basket of fish? Beauties. Okay, I'll let you... You can grab yours, Brian. You want me to go? I'll, here, I'll let okay. them both go. Let me get them both go. Okay, there's your guy here. It's a nice fish. Look at how crazy. Cromers. Oh, yeah. Cromer. There he goes. And then the big oh, boy. Then the, <laughs> then the fat guy. Look at, oh. look at how fat he is. Look at how fat. Oh, look at how fat that fish is. It's just obese. Look at that. Oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. On the blobs. Yeah, on the blobs. You know, Brian and I have been waiting for our bobbers to go down all day. Dale had that great action with the anaconda. Yeah. And finally, we got the blobs going. <laughs> and we found the fish like they're sitting in this bay. Yeah. So it's good. Oh, yeah. We finally happened. We saw the bobber down. <laughs> and we're not moving. We're going to move. We're not moving. Well, boy, pretty good day today. You know, every day on the water, you learn something new. <laughs> and uh, I learned something new today. You know? That's right. Yeah, well, we ended up with that. We stripped those big snake type flies. We tried to <laughs> boobies like I've never, or what are they called? Blobs like I've never no. seen with little legs <laughs> hanging off. We had stuff from England we hadn't seen. Anyway, it was experimental day. Oh, yeah. We got a mix of wet line fishing, casting and retrieving, and the bobber went down. And the bobber went down. Those are always the best days. We can get both. It was like, this was the box today, Brian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the glimmer of that baby. No insects in there, whatever the heck they are. But anyway, it worked good. It was a fun day. We, like you said, every technique, clear intermediates, on the surface, dry line on you. We had the bobbers down yeah, you, and you, quality fish. You can't ask for much more on this late in the season. It's oh. a bluebird day out here. Beautiful and beautiful fish. A fat, oh. fat, healthy fish. <laughs> uh. Chunks. Oh, just <laughs> chunks. Anyway, when you come out here, take care, preserve our waters. We'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing. Bye.